In this video, we're going to look at sketching functions with a calculator. So I do understand that you might have a different calculator to me, but uh, we're going to use all of the tools on my calculator and hopefully you can find the equivalent tools on yours. Now we're going to sketch this function here, x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x minus 5. So the calculator that I have is this one here, it's the TI Inspire uh, CX and we're going to go to home and we want to go to where it says graph and then if you do have this panel here to type an equation you can just press tab and f1x means our first function they will have up to 99 functions if you have this model of calculator okay so let's type in x cubed so x to the power of 3 and then plus 2x squared minus 4x minus 5. Okay, so this is my cubic function here. Uh, if you if you have this pad on your on your calculator, you can often click and drag this somewhere else on the screen. But what I'm going to first do is change my zoom to have a bit of a bit of a nicer shape here. So I can go to menu, window and zoom, and I'm going to change my window settings. Now it looked to be pretty fine in the X, maybe I could go in a little bit. So I'm going to change my X min to negative 8 my x max to 8, but I'm going to make this a little bit lower. So let's go negative 15 and positive 10 for now. Okay, so that's a pretty nice shape. Uh, we can move our function down here for now. Okay, so if we want to sketch functions with IB maths questions, they want you to often find the intercepts, the x-intercepts, the y-intercept, and some turning points. Uh, so all of nearly all of these tools are in our menu and analyze graph section. So let's have a look at all of these. Zero in the analyze graph or your calculator, it should be zero. This is x intercepts. So if you click on zero, it'll ask you to find a lower bound where there are three x intercepts. So they want you to define which one you want. So if I click somewhere here and then an upper bound here, it'll tell you that this x intercept is negative 2.79 and zero. So I could do it again, menu, analyze graph, zero. Now I could find this one or this one. I'll just find this one. And so that's how we find x-intercepts. Now to find the y-intercept, it's actually a little bit trickier. Sometimes students get stuck. This is not in the analyze graph section. There's a trace section. This is one of my favorite buttons, which I, I think is a hidden button. Uh, not many students do use the trace button, but the trace, if you just press graph trace, if you then go side to side with your keypad here, it will give you a bunch of coordinates. And these are going to be coordinates on our curve. Now, if we keep going across, it will actually give you the intercept, the, the x-intercept, and if you keep going, it will give you the y-intercept, which is there, which will be 0, negative 5. So that would be how you find the y-intercept. Now, with the trace tool, you can actually just type in any number, for example, negative 4, and it straight away says x equals negative 4. And if you press enter, it tells you what the y value is when x equals negative 4. So if I just typed in, for example, 0, enter, it tells me the y-intercept, because that's when x is 0. So the trace tool, I think, is an underrated tool very good tool. Okay, if we want to find the maximum and the minimum, we go back to our analyze graph section, minimum and maximum. So if we choose minimum first, this will obviously be our minimum. So they want you to define a lower bound here and an upper bound here. That's our minimum and the maximum is the same. Okay, now if you have a look at the analyze graph, what else is here? Intersection is intersection of two lines. So if you do have another curve, uh, which you can just do by pressing tab. And if I put in, for example, x plus 1, I could find the intersection just by using the analyze graph intersection. And I would choose where they intersect in here. And the last one, which is a good one, is the dy dx. If you have done differentiation and, and you've started calculus, this tells you the gradient at any point. So it'll ask the graph that you want. So I'll choose this blue one. 
And if I say I want the gradient when x equals, let's say, negative 1, it will ask for the position and it tells you the gradient at that point, which was negative 5. Okay, so this is a few techniques uh, in your IB questions. Often they just want you to sketch it and then draw the sketch in your exam paper. Okay, good luck.